DHE 2.0. Bob Wyatt's DHE, or Day Hair Emerger, has been an established pattern for a number of years. He has now revised both the tying sequence and to some extent the final result, and I'll show that now. The hook is a Partridge GRS 6A in a size 12. Any fine wire scut hook will do. The thread is a brown 6 aught uni thread. For the abdomen, I will use Argentinian hair in an olive. The wing is deer hair. And the thorax material will come off the ears and the face mask of a hair. I tie in the thread just at the eye, run it down to about half the shank if this were a straight eye hook, trim the waist. At this point the olive dubbing is just put on as a noodle. The aim is to get a slender only slightly tapered uh, abdomen that runs well into the bend of the hook. When there is only the thread left it comes back as a ribbing over the abdomen until it's back at the starting point of the abdomen. The deer hair wing will be tied in. I've placed a small amount in a hair stacker. As it will be tied in, tips facing forward, I turn the hair stacker already in that direction before taking out the hair. Wing length is about shank length. It's always interesting to talk about shank length in a curved hook, but I'm sure you'll understand. And otherwise you can see the result on your screen. The butts are trimmed at an angle shortest near the base of the wing and longest where the abdomen is. Come in with the scissors and trim. The aim is to get a bit of a shoulder at that place. It will also support the wing once I've made it upright and place some hard turns into the base. The thorax will come next. Wrap the thread a little closer to the eye of the hook and add the deer hair. It has a fairly robust and fairly long thorax Bob feels that the posture of the fly is to a large extent determined by the thorax as the abdomen will hang submerged. Hard into the base and come back. and it's finished off with a three turn whip finish. That completes Bob Wyatt's DHE 2.0. The top view
for as much as you can see the bottom view.